The local library is a great place to fill your summer reading list for free, but it also remains a vital source for research. Elaine Count of our streaming news network, CBSN, checked in on the New York Public Library. That is where the librarians are still the most trusted source source in an era of online searches. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. The librarians at the New York Public Library have been called the human Google. And though they may not be as fast as your favorite search engine, they're as reliable as ever. The Fifth Avenue branch of the New York Public Library attracts about two and a half million visitors each year. Many pose with the lions named Patience and Fortitude, snap pictures in the Grand Entry Hall, and pass through the reading rooms without cracking a book. But the tables are full here. Shushing happens as much as you may remember. Ask a wife, how can I help you? And the phones keep ringing for researchers. Oh, okay. One of the number one uh, comments that we get from callers is, thank God I've reached a human being. Even on chat sometimes people will say, is this a robot or a person? <laughs> and we have to laugh and say, you know, yeah, I'm a real person. <laughs> Rosa Lee manages the New York Public Library's Ask Desk. So I see an account matching that number just Which so receives about 300 account. inquiries a day. We answer telephone, email, chat, text, Facebook and Twitter, and even snail mail queries that come in from New Yorkers and even people from around the world. This is our library, our personal reference library. Researchers here can access materials not available to the general public, but Google and even Wikipedia are not off limits. We love the fact that more and more things are online. Um, the computer is a tool for us, so the faster we can find an answer for somebody, the better. How can we help you? While the average Google search takes 0.2 seconds, this human search engine is a bit slower. Five minutes per call is typical. If you click in the search box on the upper right corner. Is there such a thing as a typical question? Uh, no, not when you work in reference. Here are some recent questions as read by our CBS This Morning summer interns. I need to know the exterior dimensions of Radio City Music Hall. I am Hall. looking for a New York City law that prohibits solicitation by monkeys. I'm looking for information on the history of black lipstick. Are the lions, patience, and fortitude in front of the library life-size or larger than life? It's arranged by subject, more or less. Researcher uh, Bernard Van Marsieven uh, keeps a file card archive on hand for the queries best defined as random. Well, I guess this is a city nickname, that, or a neighborhood nickname that didn't quite pan out. Lobro. Lobro borders NoHo, SoHo, and Little Italy. So Lobro didn't catch on. It didn't quite catch on. Lobro yeah. sounds kind of insulting. Yeah, sort of, yeah, right. <laughs> What's the most interesting question you've ever received? Well, it's usually like the, the last one that I have gotten. There's this one caller who found that their street is wider than the ordinary street. I didn't quite believe them at first, so I, I actually went up to their block and I, I measured it out. And it's true, it's, it's about seven feet wider than the standard block. Wow. Um, so, Bernard, you're awfully dedicated. You know, I'm glad that I'm able to do this job. It's, uh, you know, don't, don't tell the management, but it's kind of like... I'm always amazed that I get paid to do this work, so. I love this collection. Surprising as it may sound, that sentiment is shared on this floor, where so, people proudly answer yeah, whatever's on your mind. So let me place the hold for you. What is it that you are able to discern after you've answered a question? I think I, gratitude. Also, um, that moment, that aha. <laughs> that aha moment, hearing that joy in their voice, and it's almost like like a little check mark goes off. It's like, okay, well, I've managed to accomplish that. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering, the lions named Patience and Fortitude are larger than life size. That law prohibiting monkeys from soliciting money dates back to 1887, <laughs> and black lipstick first came in vogue in the 1930s. All answers provided by the New York Library's still very human search engine. Oh, oh boy. It's love so library. Nice. Yeah. Me too, yes. Elaine. Love it's them. so nice to know they exist. They, yes, <laughs> and you know what? The difference between a computer and a human being, you could hear uh, from the librarians the joy that they get yeah. in providing information, and it just helps to make someone's day a little bit Bernard's better. out there walking the street. Yes. That's somebody who cares. Very dedicated. I got choked up looking at the index cards. Yes, I know. My age I know. is showing. I remember those. Yes, yes. Thank you, Elaine.